Ciao guys and welcome back, it's your friend Luca and in today's video we're gonna see if the Synco G2 A2 is a good wireless microphone to consider for our professional gigs. Stay tuned. You can see the gouden overstapper on the Sprinter richting Rotterdam, 11 minutes over 2 from Spoor 8. Before we start, I want to say thank you to the guys from Synco. They were kind enough to send me a free unit to make this review possible. And they also provide me a free unit to give away to one of you. So if you would like to apply to this giveaway, check the video until the end where I will release the instructions to apply. And this is not a sponsored video, I'm free to say whatever I want, so it's gonna be a totally honest review, like always. The main reason why I'm making this video is because I consider this uh, kit extremely useful and versatile, because they are selling it for an affordable price, around 200 bucks, depending from where you live, but uh, they offer a lot for what you pay, because they offer two wireless transmitters with uh, inbuilt microphones, plus two lavier, and the wireless receiver, two cables to connect the TRS or TRRS jacks, so you can plug it both on your smartphone or in your camera. And they also include a USB cable that is extremely amazing because it's split with three USB output, so you can charge just with one USB port all the three devices at once. And that's amazing. I really appreciate that. And they also include two dead cuts for the wireless transmitters. You want to test the distance? Yes, we you can go. Yeah, we're gonna do that. But Actually, you can uh, clip it. Yeah, clip it in the pocket. Otherwise, it's gonna be too loud. You How can. do I know? How do I know? Uh, what uh, you cannot know. I have to check myself. Uh, okay. Try to walk that way. Continue going. Okay, cool. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. My name is Charlie. Now take me to the sea. Oh, I can't even see him anymore. Okay, well, uh, I have to come here. Oh, yeah, there he is. This okay, is cool. uh, far enough. Is, there, is everything cool? Protest. Can you still hear me? Yeah, you can come back. I mean, this is like around 40 meters, I guess. And that's the maximum range I will be with the camera from, from the subject. Yeah, yeah, come back, come back. Yeah, good audio quality, even at longer distance. If you're curious to know the differences between the inbuilt microphone, it's a little bit twice. From the inbuilt microphone and the lavier, let's have a look together. What is gonna sound like? So this is the lavier mic. Oh no, it went up again. Uh, okay, let's plug it here. I hope I'm not gonna make too much noise. So this is the sound of the inbuilt microphone of the transmitter. And this is the audio coming out from the lavier. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Test, one, two, three. Test, one, two, three. In my opinion, the audio quality you're getting from this device, it's good enough for professional applications. The coverage, the distance between the transmitters and the receiver can be as far as 50 meters. The battery life, it's good enough for almost every gigs. They rated up to eight hours of battery life and so they can run around seven and a half and eight hours. So it is uh, pretty good and convenient. And if you want to charge them on the fly, you need one and a half hours to fully charge all the devices. So if you bring a power bank with you and you are filming an Italian wedding that they can go up to 14 hours, you're gonna be pretty safe. If you're planning to use just the inbuilt microphone in the wireless transmitter, you'll be happy to know that they include a dead cut that magically is gonna stay in the device and is not gonna fly away like a famous brand that we all know. So it is a big plus for Sync. I like this. 
All in all, I'm extremely happy with this kit. The build quality is great, the audio quality is amazing, and there are just two minor complaints that I have regarding this kit. The first one is that the wireless transmitters have two bottoms on the side here. There is the low cut filter and the sink. The main problem is the on off bottom that has also the function of mute. So it's not a big problem if you keep the microphone in the chest of the talent you're filming, but if you are plugging the lavier microphone in the transmitter and you put the transmitter in the pocket or in the belt of the talent, it can be that they can accidentally touch this mute and mute button and this can be a real problem during a conference or during a wedding ceremony. And the next problem that I found out with these devices is that the brightness of the screen, both for the wireless transmitter and the receiver, is not really bright. So if you want to check what's going on both both devices, you really have to check directly in your camera because during sunny days it's totally impossible to see what's going on. I don't know if you can see it here, but like as you see, the screen has a lot of glare. Uh, I'm in the shade, so if I'm in the sun, it's going to be totally impossible to see what's going on. So at the end of the day, we should consider to get this kit. I think this kit is working extremely well if you work on set. So for example, for interviews or corporate work, or let's say podcast, short films. But I wouldn't use it for events because there is a, a big problem. That's the bottom, the power on off bottom that has also the function of mute and unmute. So if you plan to hide the microphone on the talent, so with the lavier and you place the transmitter in the pocket or in the belt of the talent, there is the risk that they can accidentally mute the microphone and then you're going to end up without an audio source in your video. So for example, wedding videos, conferences, everything that is live, a live event, uh, there is uh, a big risk that the talent can mute the microphone. So I wouldn't advise if that's your uh, niche when you work as a videographer or filmmaker. But I'm still planning to use this kit for live events because I always bring with me a backup audio recorder. So in this case I could attach the receiver on the external audio recorder and I can connect the transmitters, one in the mixer and another one as ambient sound recorder. Pretty simple. To participate at the giveaway, it's extremely simple. You just have to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel of Cinco. It's not necessary to subscribe in my channel, don't do it. Also because you should comment this video in the comment area below because that is where I'm gonna pick randomly the winner for this giveaway. I plan to do the random pick in two weeks, uh, but it is necessary that the video is gonna have at least 1000 views. So when the video is gonna reach 1000 view or more in two weeks, I'm gonna do the random pick that you can follow uh, live on Instagram in approximately two weeks. I will write down in the comment uh, area below the exact day when I'm gonna do the random pick. So this is it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see you next time. Ciao!